Hey, what's up everybody? This is Daniel Lopez, the Blind Samurai. And today I wanted to show you this sword right here. It's the display sword I used on the video, does the display edge cut. It is a Koi um, Samurai sword set. It came in three. But I was just going to show you this one for the purposes of this video. Um, what I wanted to show you... Here's a handle. I wanted to show you a close look at this sword and... After doing the video, here's the display now. It looks pretty nice. It feels nice because it is a display sword. Um, so they have a nice presentation. This can also be like a review for it. Like if you want a decorative sword in your home. Um, not for use. Just like, you know, like a painting or something. These aren't really nice to have. It's a koi fish. <clears throat> Now, what I was going to show you guys and the purpose of the video is after I did that video, does a display edge cut, this sword got really loose um, from hitting those water bottles. It couldn't really take a hit. These are really cheaply made. The handle is like a really soft wood. Um, these pieces of metal are really cheap. Look at that. It's all loose. <laughs> That's the handguard. It doesn't have the spacers in between. I'm gonna unlock it. These are not these are not sharp at all. So there you go. So if you hear that, I'm gonna shake the, the sword from the handle. Whoa. <laughs> you see that? Um this is why these swords are not good to be swinging around. Look at that. Um, I just pulled off the handle with ease. Um, when I was making the that other video, the, the, the display edge cut, I had to have my nephew who was recording me at the time go and hide <laughs> for his safety when I was swinging the sword because I knew this like something could have happened. So I would tell him to go go somewhere safe while I swing the sword okay and right here for the people who cannot see for all my blind friends um, this sword goes into what is called a rat tail that means the the size of the blade it should be like almost the same size going down inside the handle and the handle should be in that part of the of the blade is called Nakago or the Tang. The Tang. And they usually have, for people who can't see, I'm showing them right now. Okay, so it goes in. And then it has two pins or one pin in the middle or anywhere else. Or two pins holding the Tang or the Nakago onto the handle. So it won't fly out shake a lot or anything like that all right uh the tang right here for this sword it does go all the way inside the handle and it is like around a quarter of an inch wide a little bit bigger than quarter of an inch the thickness is like probably one let me see a sixteenth of an inch around there <clears throat> so Theoretically, you can if you could drill some holes on here, put them in here. Uh, I'm I'm showing the here part. Sorry, it's because that that does get annoying. Um, the here is on the <laughs> on the tang of the sword. You might be able to get away with putting some holes or just one hole, but it has to be a lot smaller than the. Than the tang itself so like let's say if I were to put the handle on on the tang and then I would draw a hole it had to go right through the handle and the tang and then secure it with something like a little pin or a wire <clears throat> might do that in the upcoming video to show you guys but yeah I wanted to show you this 
the part of the tang on the end, the very end, it has like a little screw, a screw in, so it would screw into the handle. But with these swords, once I'm gonna show you the handle, it has like a little drill, drilled hole in there. Like I said, this doesn't have the spacers to fit perfectly. They just drill a hole in there. Inside of the handle, it has another piece that that screws onto the end of this um, Nakago <clears throat> or Tang. So oh. it goes in, and then you tighten it. Don't worry, these swords are display swords, display edge, not sharp. I'm not gonna hurt myself. What is sharp on these though is the point. I'm gonna show you guys the point of the sword. It's pretty sharp. Look, it goes into a little a little point from the spine. It does taper into a point. Some do not taper, they're pretty thick here, but this one was pretty well done. Some of the of this point is pretty sharp. It feels sharp to the fingers. And then the rest of the blade is not sharp at all. It's really dull. <clears throat> So you have to be careful with that. The habaki, the little cheap habaki, is pretty cool though. It's a, like a little nice design on there. Um, I could feel it. I can't feel what it is, but it feels nice. A little suba, you could take it all apart. It doesn't have any spacers. <laughs> This thing reminds me of the things that go like on the light switches, uh, the, the handguard or the suba. Look at some fancy houses. <laughs> yeah, so these are pretty dangerous to be swinging around because right even after you buy them, right after when you get them, I mean, if you swing these things around, they could just come out. This thing doesn't even want to screw on there anymore. It doesn't screw on. I'm trying to press it against it. You hear that? It sounds like I'm sharpening a pencil. <clears throat> Probably a lot of some, saw, some sawdust comes out of there. Yeah, so you don't want to hit something with this, hit anyone with it or swing while anyone is around because this thing could go flying out and very very pointy. It could go through something really quick or easily. And yeah, it's pretty dangerous. So the other swords or other katanas, they have, they have the two pins that secure the Nakago, the Tang, onto the handle. So stuff like that won't happen. These are display swords. They're meant only for display. You cannot practice with these either. If you try to practice e idle with these, <clears throat> just drawing the sword out of the scabbard could make it cause it to get loose, loosened. Especially if you're just pulling on the handle instead of unlocking it, how you're supposed to unlock it by pushing on the suba, on the handguard, on the side top corner, on the right top corner, or wherever you can. <clears throat> yeah, these are not good. Um, I got these a long time ago uh, just to to make videos of it, but I didn't know what to do, and I finally did my candid display edge cut. I know I mentioned that video a lot. You should go check it out if you haven't already to see this sword in action. <laughs> to this, see this sword in action before it, this happened to it. Yeah, and let me see what else can I say about this. <clears throat> display swords are for display only. Uh, they look beautiful. I got this, this this set of this sword. It has a wakazashi and the tanto for fifty dollars. But if you're gonna want uh, something to cut, there's a lot of good swords out there. I would recommend Musha. They have $50 swords. And those are really nice. 
Um, they're really sharp. They're well made. They have the pins in here to secure. And not only to secure, but so you could do regular maintenance on them. These these display swords, once you once you un, undo them, like unscrew them or however you take them apart, they're not going to be the same anymore. They're not going to go back in there. These, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. Like this one right here, it doesn't want to screw back on. <laughs> and it's really readily dangerous to use. So yeah, dangerous for use. Display swords are only for display. And thank you for watching. Any comments, you could go ahead and write them down there somewhere and I will respond to you. I will reply. You can share this with people who are thinking about buying swords or display swords. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're not already. Yeah, so thank you for watching. Bye.